Hello, friend. Welcome. This is our chess game on socket uh, communication. And in the last video, we disabled the button after it's used, right? And uh, if we click the listen, then we disabled the listen button. If we uh, click connect button, and we disable it. Actually, did you realize which? Actually, we should disable both of them, right? It doesn't make sense if after we try to listen and uh, we still want to connect. Yeah, no way. So let's disable both of them. Uh, so here, we make a copy of this guy and put it here, right? And make another copy of this guy and put it to there. So we disable both. And uh, another thing we want to do is, in this video, um, yeah, so for this one, print writer, we have to create, we have to create our instance variable here, because it's used, that's uh, connect k, to go to yeah search for the next um, here we the reason we have to keep it as an instance variable is we use it in this move piece method but for the scanner it's a different story yeah so command k go to next so here it's, it's trivial and this one it only it, it's only used in this function in this um, method so we can pass in this one as the um, as a parameter okay let's keep searching here you see when we click it and immediately we use it inside the this function or method here for the server is the same we create that and we use it inside the shared receive move method so that's refactor start um, starting from here so delete that now you are complain here right we don't need that because you will be local so while scanner okay so now we need to add a parameter here so scanner scanner and keep going so here um we can create a local var right and pass in the scanner here and the same here Okay, now let's make it, give it a try to make sure we didn't break anything. It still works. Run it. And run the second instance. Okay, now let's try using um, the bottom one as the server. Yeah, and you see both both buttons are disabled and here we connect okay now try to make a move yeah it works right okay great uh, the next thing we want to do is so remember we implemented the runnable for the, for the socket server part of work so we implement the interface uh, method here for the for the socket server and we didn't use this uh, mechanism for our client so we just use this one to run the um, client side blocking code like waiting there uh, to receive uh, game moves 
uh, we want to be fair with our uh, post crime server so let's remove this guy so we use the same thing um, for the server so here ice cube right so we'll create a new roundable like that so we can put our code here right just like what we did for the client side and actually because the pool pool is used just once so we can right cut and put it here so we can save one line of code and now here is the job we need to do for the server so cut and paste it here now we don't need this one okay so this is our server part code and this is our uh, the code for the kind and let's create a method for both of them okay uh, two methods okay so private view ID um, run socket server right so can we this is server can we do that put it here so to make this part of code more elegant run socket server yeah and another one is you guess right run socket socket client so um, we have a try here cut and uh, put it here so run socket client like that mm -hmm. okay so let's give it a try Q, command Q, run our first instance and launch our second instance, scroll down and uh, show, uh, click that, oh now I'm not sure which one is which, listen, okay, and uh, connect cool make a move yes make a move right gorgeous um, that's it thank you for watching see you next time